That's right. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is actually a second premium pack in Summoner's War that includes a light dark scroll. What's up? What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the 506 update, uh, including the balance patch. We just got a, a balance patch, which we talked about in a previous video, but it's actually in the game now. But premium pack number two, light and dark scroll, a tribute scroll. So you lose, it's 600 more crystals, though. 600 more crystals. You lose four mysticals, but you get a light dark. It's a lot more crystals, though. That's 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 less valuable as far as like overall summons. And we know the light darks are only. We know it's f few and far between. But before you get too excited, two a month, limited to two a month. Don't get too crazy hyped. It's limited to two a month, but still, it's pretty nice. So you can go. It, it's here's the thing with this 506 update. There's a lot more access to light dark summons overall. So we have the premium pack number two. We also have uh, not that there's nothing in the building. I don't think there's also from the glory shop. There's light dark pieces here, and from the no, not the cash shop. The hot packages. There's also a special pack, fifty dollars a month. There's just extra packages. This half half the update really is extra packages, but there's also some some other there's some actual good stuff in it too. Uh, but another light dark scroll here in thirteen hundred, just almost enough to get that second light dark scroll. Um, but anyway, uh, we got the special pack. That's not uh, that's not bad. I don't think there's any. These upgrades are th those we those are from months ago. It's not upgraded today, it's f upgraded from months ago. There's also these challenges, if you guys haven't seen, I'm sure some of you are like, no, I haven't seen. Summoner's duty, summon a monster three times, you get light dark pieces for summoning anything. Anything, 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 anything. Then there's also, well, giant killer is a rune. You get a rune from that now. Pretty nice, pretty nice, extra, extra rune. So, I mean, it's just, it helps people catch up, really. But more access to uh, light dark summons. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the whole notice, and then we'll also see also the trans box. We'll take a look at the trans box too. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, the bikini trans box don't uh, don't excite me that much. But we'll see the animations. Maybe they're cool. Uh, new. Oh, also the um, what else? The arena rivals are more points now, so it's gonna help players that don't have uh, heavily upgraded uh, towers catch up which is nice uh so here we say basically what uh, what we saw before actually more monostones too there's a lot more monostones fighting arena three times now 30 energy so just more catch up mechanics and i think this is nice like i, I you know that i would love to crap on com to us as much as possible but i think things like this are nice to help newer players catch up faster without being like here's a bunch of free OP stuff that people took five years to get. It's like, no, let's give them resources to catch up faster. So, uh, I like this. And then, of course, we saw, like I, I was saying, the glory points are upgraded. So all the different, uh, you know, the, the, not not the glory points, the, um, yeah, the arena, the glory points for the arena rivals uh, updated. What else? Dimensional hole. Oh, the ranks for the dimensional hole. And then we talked about the transmogs and the balance patch in previous videos. Craft building, you can have craft four star rainbow one three times a week instead of two. If that's your thing. I don't know if I really do I do that? I don't know if I can do that. On any alt or anything. I really don't even worry. I, I don't need to six star anything at this point. So um convenience improvements, monster UI, media page, which we just saw, we just saw to get to this, the media page was updated. Shop items have been renewed. Also, the okay, so the glory points for the other scrolls have been really man. I just sp I just bought those. I just why couldn't I wait? Why couldn't I wait? It's a huge difference though. It's a massive, massive, massive difference. So you have way if you do arena on a regular basis, you have access to like almost tw not quite twice, but like one and a half times 50% 50, 50 more summons per week just from doing arena if your if your towers are upgraded and also the rivals are more so even more access more access to more scrolls and like a year ago maybe it was a little uh, over a year ago they said they wanted to give us they weren't going to increase the rates but they had this thing they were like moving forward we want to give people access to more 
premium units, but we're not going to increase the rates. And everyone's like, what does that mean? So you're not going to give us access, blah, blah, blah. And it, we, everyone just wrote it off as nothing. But they've been over the past year giving us slowly increasing the access that we have to, uh, to overall summons, right? I think that if you, since they slowly did it, it's not, it hasn't been like this drastic change, but if some of you may remember from like the olden days, like years ago, it's like, man, it was a lot harder to get summons overall. It seems like everyone just has more summons all the time than they used to. And if you're new to the game, you've only been playing for a year, you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you've been playing for five years and you remember, you remember the beginning, you remember like 100 scrolls, it was like, whoa, dude, I got 100 scrolls. Oh, you are a whale, man. Like, it, they've been, they've been, uh, They've been giving us more access to scrolls more often. And then the, the Light Dark Summoning Piece. This was expensive before, though. Light Dark Summoning Piece from the Guild Points is now 350 So it was expensive. This this premium pack, too. Uh, we, we already talked about those. Then there's the bug fixes. Uh, Vampire Lord extended. So it's extended from uh, another month. Another month. So it was uh, until August. Now it's until September. And then we, everyone gets a mystical. Everyone gets a mystical scroll. But let's talk about the actual. Like we see the premium pack two. Like oh my god, the premium pack two. It's, it's so crazy. Let's take the, oh those glory points to get those scrolls, man. So nice. So premium pack two. Let's do let's do the math. And I've always say it's like eight, one in eighteen chance to get a light dark lightning. It's one in it's like sixteen point six 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 repeating. So I gotta correct myself on. Me saying 18 uh, in the past. But anyway, anyway, uh, we have, what was I going to do? Oh, the chances, the chances. How much crystals, how many crystals would it take to get a light dark? Um, see, now I don't remember the, the, the one in 280 something. Hold on. I can find this though. I can find this. I can find this. I think I can find this. Can I find this? How fast is it going to take? It was instantaneous. One in 286. Okay, so one in 286 rates. I just looked for the picture. Thank goodness I didn't delete it. One in 286, you get one for uh, 1350 for one. Right, so 286 times 1350. So on average, you are going to spend 386,100 crystals for one light dark nat five. On average, you could do it once and get it First try. You could also spend 500, 600,000 crystals on a light dark nat five. But also, this only, I mean, it's still gonna take, uh, it's still gonna take quite a while. It's still gonna take quite a while. So, uh, what was it, 150 months on F? Yes, it's okay. You'd have to spend 386 crystals over the course of 180, 150 months for average uh, light dark nat five. So, low. Well, I mean, some people are just gonna get it like today. Some people are just gonna think, like, "Hey, I did one. I got, I got ragdoll." And f you, if that's you, f you. That's all I gotta say. F you. Uh, let's take a look at the transmox though. Ninety nine dollars. Very exciting. Looks cool though. The art team always does a good job. Sometimes it's like, like even if it's like bikini transmox again. Like I complain about like bikini transmox again. Like, oh, hooray! But, um, but it still does look. Uh, they still do a good job, right? Even if I don't like the, like, outfit, it's still done well. Uh, ooh, you know what? I don't know what, if I want to buy this transmog or, like, print it up and put it on my wall. Uh, yo, I think I need a Dark Paladin. Okay, new goal, get a Dark Paladin. Because she's very pretty. Bigger, bigger, you got a crush on Dark Paladin now? Hey, I'm not saying I didn't have one before, okay? Listen, get it right. Uh, Chakram Dancers. These should be cool to see, though. Can we see them moving with the twins? I I, I wonder. I don't remember if they, they did that with the uh, the last ones. Bikini Transmogs. You know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's start taking a look at these. The animations. No one uses the light one. I mean, not the light. Well, no one uses the light one either. The wind one. The wind one's actually not not that bad. Some of them just get so overhyped. YouTubers' faults. It's it's, it's YouTubers. 
nothing too crazy. Is this a faster? Here's the real question. Is this a faster animation? I mean, people are going to buy it regardless. But it kind of looks a lot like some of the older ones. Like, it looks like not too much has changed aside from the fact that it's a an inner tube. Not bad, but... Wasn't, wasn't the last trans... I didn't even buy the last uh, Chakra and Boomerang transmog. But wasn't that similar? Like I said, it's not bad. It's not bad looking. It just doesn't look like... Like, oh my god, super create. Like, everything's on the Annabelle scale, man. Everything's on the, the Occult Girl scale, where, like, they did so good with those that I was like, okay, very excited about those, and everything else is now going to be judged based on its, uh, its comparison to that. They were too much fun, man. That's what happens. But I think the other, I mean, some of you guys have the other, the other chakram. So aren't the other shock, the the other uh, the chakram skin that I didn't pick up? But isn't that uh, very similar to this? Aside from the fact that it's in inner tube. Moonlight blow. <laughs> I remember I had one of those in. I was gonna say college, but uh, never mind. Never mind. It's it's, it's nothing, kids. It's uh, it's a, it's a snack. It's um it's it's they have it at uh, at McDonald's. No, they don't have it at McDonald's. What am I talking about? Okay, uh, Surf Girl Boomerang Warrior. Oh, Shayna. I mean, that's Shayna. Oh. Good night. I'll see you guys later. Talking about Moonlight Blows. Talking about Shayna being Sabrina. I mean, they're 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 cool looking transmogs. They're not bad looking transmogs. I'm just like, so many bikini. Where's the bikini Zaros? Where's the bikini Zaros? We're gonna see some crazy surf. Like, why she could be surfing? She could be surfing around the level and smacking smacking these skeletons in the heads. Maybe she surfs around with this one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Was she actually surfing? She was surfing around. I stand corrected, come to us. I stand corrected. She was surfing around the level. You win. You you you, you have you have officially shut me up. So she she did do exactly what I wanted her to do. Okay, I'll I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Be careful what you wish for, because it's literally gonna happen five seconds later. As long as it involves you giving them money, it's literally gonna happen five seconds later. You know what? These boomerangs are... I, I like the boomerangs better than the chakrams. Because the boomerangs have more character. The boomerangs are like, okay, they're surfing on their surfboards. And they're doing crazy things. Reminds me of a... Does it remind me of Silver Surfer or like Thundercats? Does it remind me of Thundercats for some reason? Or like Silverhawks or something? What does it remind me of? Maybe all of them, I guess. I don't know. Maybe all of them. I kind of want these boomerangs now. I just, I just, uh, and she sits on the surf. Okay, okay. The boomerang's a little bit better than the chakra. The boomerang is cooler. The boomerang has character. She's personality. Yeah, she's got more personality. I like this one better. What we need, oh, the passive right. What we need is more surfing monsters now. I'm not quite sold on the bikini transmogs, but I am sold on the surfing monsters. I give the uh, the boomerang uh, surfing girls seal of approval. Let's let's take a look at the paladins. We already saw the uh, these one the things. So let's see what kind of crazy things they do. Oh, she hits him in the face. How exciting! Prayer protection. I wonder if they use some of the same textures from some of the previous transmogs. Like some of the same, uh, an not the same full animations, but like some of the same textures from the animations. Like this is where there's waves involved in this animation of some kind. There's like little splashy waves. Maybe they took some from the mermaid. Maybe they took some. I mean, really, they don't have to redo everything. 
for some of them. There's, if things require waves and there's textures that look like wave-like, doesn't seem like it should be completely redone. Just to be slightly different, there's only so many things that can look like waves, you know what I mean? I like the surfing girl the best. Let's check the one that we all have. Unless you're too lazy to fuse her. Wait, who who was it that we need to shame? We need to shame someone from uh, from Twitch chat. That was too lazy to fuse her. And they said they'll never have her because they're too lazy. Provoke. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like the surfing one the best, though. Excuse me. And then the other one's just a passive. Yeah, it's not, it's not, but like, I can't, I'm not gonna sit here and complain, but like, they, they did a good job. They're very talented. The, the art team is very talented, doing a good job on these, uh, trans boss. Always doing a good job. Should we see the panda last, or should we see the BK last? Who you think is gonna have the craziest? I like these BKs, though. You know, and I like, I like the, uh, the dark one, because the dark one's got a completely different outfit. I mean, it's the same outfit, but it's complete, it's different colors. Well, they all, okay. Technically, they all have different colors, but very different colors. Like, completely dark. Let's take a look at these, okay. It's Dazzleus. The one that nobody uses. So this is actually, it's it's kind of interesting. There's not a whole lot of people that that are willing to invest in him. Cause he's, he's, you don't pick him every, like you wouldn't pick him every match. So it's like, do I really want to work on building him and ruining him with like really good runes to be usable in like a few matches? Right now, at this point in the meta, uh, there's so many people using things that multi-hit already that you don't really need it for, um, you don't really need it for Triana's and Garrow's like we saw in previous seasons. But, hey, there's a... Anchor. Yo, I like that. I like that one. That's cool. More anchors. I've. You know what? I never knew this. Kind of reminds me of God of War. I never knew that I wanted anchors so badly in a video game. I kind of want to build it now. <laughs> but basically, so he does this. He um he stuns, disturbs HP recovery, and then this is ignore uh, effects that resist death. And then he's got the same passive, uh, increases your attack speed and uh, regens himself. Um, without even a buff. That's the, that's the nice thing. He, he just regens. You can't like strip the regen buff. You can't strip the speed buff. He just has it. He just has it in his, like that's what he does. So it's not something, it's not like a buff that you can strip. Um, so, kind of fun. 80% chance, that's not a bad chance to stun, but... I mean, he's not super OP, but he's just a... He's just a, a, he's a usable, he's niche, but he's usable. Aw, oh, it's not as crazy of an axe. I mean, not, not an axe. Kind of looks, I mean, it kind of looks like an axe, but... When he's, when he's throwing it, not as crazy of an anchor. Okay, I gotta build a fire one. Yeah, if you do RTA, you're just gonna see that all the time. I, I, I'm replaying these animations, but you're gonna see it over and over and over again anyway, if you do RTA. So, let's see uh, the wind one. Wind one's got a different skill three. Well, they all have different skill threes. Oh, you know what? I didn't notice before, but this is actually like parting, this is like parting waves. I like these uh, Sea Captain Boys. <laughs> sea Captain Boys. I like these, man. And I like the boomerangs. I didn't think I would. I like the, I like the ooh, confine. What is this gonna do? 
This reminds me of I Lay, uh, As I Lay Dying song. It's good big axes. Bi uh, not big axes. Big anchors. Big anchors. Big anchors always win. I have. Uh, you know what? I have him. I'm gonna build him. No, I, I did build him. Never mind. I have him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see how he's real. Well, I don't even know how he's real. But. Uh. Yeah. This one got the black outfit. I don't have him though. He's got the same uh, as the the fire one skill too. So he's got a big axe. I mean, not a big axe. What in the image though? Isn't it an axe in the image? It's still an axe in the image. But that's why I keep saying axe. But it's an anchor. You gotta change it. It's not an axe. It's an anchor. Perfect orange. Perfect. It sounds like typical Guild Wars. Oh, that was that wasn't programmed to do it every single time, was it? That was just happened to be. We it happened to proc. <laughs> Are we doing Guild Wars? Uh, okay, Parasol Man Panda Warrior. Parasol... Parasol Man. Wow, what a masculine name for him. Parasol Man. Alright, let's see Parasol Man Panda Warriors. I mean, if you have Tion Langer, this is an auto-buy for you, right? You're like, hey man. Show off my Tion Lang. <laughs> okay. Can we see? Hold on. Can we see that again? That okay? Good job. Good job. Our oh, team is killing it, man. That is very funny. Okay. That second skill is great. Very nice. I can we just see that again? We, okay. Okay. I knew the other ones have it, but that's too funny. That's too funny. Okay. GG. Too funny. I wonder what Mo Long's gonna be. Dragon's Dance. But does it actually st strip and stun? Oh, it does. It, it did stun. It did stun. Reckless Assault. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was it? Did he just fly in the air with his his parasol? His umbrella? That is amazing. That is amazing. You know what? That is... That is... Damn you, calm to us. Okay. This is... You know what? I can't... I, I, I care about the beach transmogs. Not the bikini transmog necessarily, but the animations on them are funny. I'll give him that. The animations are because wasn't it, the the Annabelle beach transmogs were uh yeah, Cold Girl beach transmogs were funny. This is the, this is what people are gonna buy the uh buy the pandas for. That second skill. I mean, not 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 the second skill. The well, yes, the second skill, but the um, the thing ends because no one really uses the this young face aside from raids. You don't care what you don't care what the enemy. The, he's like this big on the screen. You don't care what the animation there is. The Molong is very funny. I like these pandas. I thought they I thought they might be the best ones, animation wise. I was I was kind of expecting for them to be kind of funny. So. And then the dark ones. That's too funny. And then there's just the passive, so. <sighs> okay, so they're not that bad. Like I like I was I was saying the other video though. I was saying the other video that you you don't know. You don't know what until you see the animations, you don't know if you're like, oh, these are gonna be cool, these are not gonna be cool. You see this the like the little ad screen not the ad screen, but you see like the little thing like these transmogs are coming in the future. It's like, okay, well let me see if I like it. And you see the animations, you're like, okay. That's kinda funny. Anyway, uh that's for this one, basically. <laughs> Jeez, oh, you know what? I was I was afraid it was gonna be longer than this. Twenty four twenty four minutes, not in in, in 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 typical bagel fashion, that's not that long, considering. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. 
Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys are hyped about. Uh, let me know what you got. If you get, if you, if I'm not saying go get those light dark premium packs, but if you do, let me know what you got in the comments. It's gonna be like Darian, 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 Darian. Darian. We'll do some on the light dark server because we got crystals and we need light darks. So that's perfect. That's perfect for that uh, that server. That server is gonna have more content now, which is great. Uh, so anyway, like I said, that's for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.